Hi, yeah, Tune Fanatics, and welcome to Tune Corner. And today we're talking about a man named Pinto Colvidge. Pinto began his animation career during the mid 1910s while working as a newspaper cartoonist. Whenever he wasn't making newspaper cartoons, he was making animated ones at his own animation studio. However, his animation studio had a very short lifespan, so his animation career was put on hold. Pinto went on to become a writer for comedy director Max Sennett, and by the late 1920s was when Pinto joined Walter Lance's studio and basically his animation career started back up again. While working for Walter Lance, he was a storyboard artist, animator, and eventually voice actor for the Oswald the Lucky Rabbit cartoons. During the 1930s, Pinto worked for Disney as a sound effects man and also was the first person to voice Goofy. Besides voicing Goofy, he also voiced one of the three little pigs, the grasshopper that plays the violin, and Grumpy and Sleepy uh, from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In 1937, Pinto had a falling out with Walt Disney, which made Pinto leave Disney and work at the Fleischer Brothers studio. While there, um, he voiced a character named Gabby for the animated movie Gulliver's Travels, and also for the theatrical cartoons starring Gabby. He also, for a short while, voiced Popeye's nemesis Bluto after replacing Bluto's original voice actor, Gus Wiki. He also went to Warner Brothers and voiced a couple of characters for a couple of Looney Tunes cartoons. By the mid-1940s, Pinto went back to Disney and voiced Goofy again. <clears throat> Throughout the 1940s, whenever Pinto wasn't voice acting, he was Bozo the Clown. Um, he would make records that would feature Bozo and also appear on television as Bozo. And Pinto would work with Disney from the mid-1940s all the way until his death in 1967. And the question of the day is, what are your thoughts on Pinto Colvidge? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to make requests. And I'll see you next time in Tune Corner.